I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from the book on advanced functions written by Nelson. It is question 11 page 362. Question is, the city of Thunder Bay, Ontario has average monthly temperatures that vary between minus 14.8 degrees centigrade and 17.6 degrees centigrade. The following table gives the average monthly temperatures averaged over many years determine the equation of the sine function that describes the data and use your equation to determine the times that the temperature is below 0 degree centigrade. So that's the data given to you from January to December. Temperatures were minimum of minus 14.8 to maximum of around 17.6 in July. Now in part one of this video we actually derived the formula to represent a sine function describing the data, right? So that part described the equation of the sine function that describes the data was done in part one. So uh, you can go through that video, but here is a kind of solution, the same page, right? So this is the equation which we came up with. So I'll write on the equation here and do part two. So the equation was that the function f of x is equals to 16.2 sine of 2 pi over 365 t minus 116 plus 1 1.4 so that is the equation which we derived and in this part of the video we are going to answer the second part that is use your equation to determine the times that the temperature is below zero degree centigrade. Now as you know most of the students are looking into my videos to get best marks. Now here is a hint for you. I've seen in test papers that sometimes you don't get the equation so you can't even answer the second part so therefore you lose all the marks. But what you can do here is look at the data. From the data it's very clear that the temperature is below zero degrees in this duration right somewhere here and uh, somewhere here so even if you draw or graph approximately you can kind of get two intervals and those two intervals will be part of your solution you may not get full marks but at least you'll get some marks so salvaging that is the strategy even for the first equation you know it starts with the minimum right so it is like minus cos when you do to sine function you find that sine is going positive somewhere here with the average value of 1.4 correct so as i suggested in the last video you could get phase shift approximately right counting days by 30s right so we say 30 60 90 120 for april so it is less than 120 that gives you approximate idea of the equation also so these are a few tips which you could use to get approximate solution at least and get some marks in the test. Now let's work into the solution for part B which is use your equation to determine the times that the temperature is below 0 degrees centigrade. So we have to use this equation right. Let's find the time when it is 0 degrees that is to say f of x is 0. So we'll write here. So I'll use this space to answer. So I'm writing slightly smaller. 0 equals to 16.2 sine of 2 pi over 365 within brackets. We need to find time when we get 0. So somewhere here and somewhere. Here. These are the two times which we need to figure out. Plus 1.4. To solve this, we'll take 1.4 on the left side, divide by 16.2. So we get minus 1.4 divided by 16.2 will be equal to sine of 2 pi by 365 t minus 116. Now let's use the calculator to find this answer. But before we get there, what we can also do is think about it like this. This is negative, right? So let's find the acute reference angle. So, so let me show you the strategy here. 
So what we will do here actually is, they will write this as sine of alpha, the acute angle, which will be equals to 1.4 over 16.2. So that means alpha is equals to sine inverse of 1.4 over 16.2, right? So let's find this angle alpha now. So we have sine inverse within bracket 1.4 divided by 16.2 bracket close equals to it should be in radians okay your calculator should be in radians 0 0.0865 okay four decimal places this is good enough when we say that this alpha is that much of radians then what is the angle what is this angle equal to this is what we need to figure out right so what we really got here is the acute angle now sine will be negative in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4 is it okay so these are the two negative values for sine so that means we are looking for primary angle which is this much which is pi plus alpha and the other angle is 2 pi minus alpha do you see that so those are the two values for this expression which we need to solve for okay so one expression we get is that means 2 pi over 365 times t minus 116 should be equal to pi plus alpha so let me do pi is 3.14 but let's use a better value shift pi plus point zero eight six five equals to three point two two so three point two two eight zero so this is this this angle so it is pi plus alpha let me write pi plus alpha <coughs> now from here we can find the value of t so t will be equals to this value 3.2280 times 365 divided by 2 pi right and then add 116 to it so let's do it so we will times let me write in brackets so times 365 365 equals to divided by 2 divided by pi equals to plus 116 equals to 303 so we get t equals to t equals to 303 303 right so 303 is here so we get t equals to 303 is our zero here okay that's one value which we got well this is 365 over 56 okay the other value we can get as 2 pi over 365 times t minus 116 this time we will add we will take away alpha from 2 pi right so 2 pi minus 0 0.0865 let's do that so we'll say 2 times shift pi that is 2 pi minus 0 0.0865 equals to this value 6.1966 to find t as we did earlier we will let me push it a bit forward so so t will be equals to we'll multiply this by 6.1966 times 365 divided by 2 pi and then we'll add 116 to it okay so multiply by 365 divide by 2 divide by pi and then add 116 what you get is 475.97 so you get 475.9 now this is more than 365 correct so whatever you get so that means after this year let me take away 365 from here so you get 110 so if I take away 365 correct then we get 110 so 110 becomes our value so so this time is karib this time is almost t 110 days is that okay correct right. so that is how you get this answer
So it's very interesting question. Go through these calculations. So we are going to use these two intervals to find our answer. So our answer here is, let me write down here, from 0 to 110, so we say t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to so it says use your equation to determine the times that the temperature is below zero. So we can say below zero. So 110. Okay. So let's remove that below zero. Okay. So 110. This is one interval. The second interval is greater than 303 and uh, less than 365. Okay. So we can say it's greater than 303 and it's less than 365. We should include this because we know these temperatures are negative, right? So, to be precise, let me use this as greater than 303 and less than equal to 365, okay? Now, here at zero, we know it is negative. So, so on this side, I use less than 110. So, that is how we could actually answer this question. I hope that helps. So, this is kind of a tricky part. Try to find always a related acute angle and then these two points. And then try to relate it with the real life situation. So we do, this is the next cycle. Sine waves are periodic waves. The seasonal things are periodic. So, so it, that is how you get your days, okay? I hope these things help you. But if you get into difficulty of really getting the equation and solution, you can kind of graph it and find your solution. That will give you at least some marks in the test. Thank you and all the best.